Cultural and Morphological Characteristics for Identification of Bacteria Bacteria is identified based on following characters. Number 1. Microscopic characters That is cultural characters. Number 2. Microscopic characters That is morphological characters with or without staining. Next is biochemical characters, antigenic characters and genomic characters. In this presentation, we are going to cover first two topics of microscopic characters and microscopic characters for identification of bacteria. Cultural characters of bacteria. The cultural characteristics of bacteria deal with the appearance of bacterial growth in various liquid and on solid media. It includes shape that can be circular, irregular, spindle, rhizoid, and filamentous. Size that can be small, medium or large. Elevation that can be flat, raised, convex, ambonate or pulvinate. Margins that can be even, lobate, crenate, curled or filamentous. Surface that could be smooth, rough, wrinkled, papillate or dull. Opacity that can be opaque, translucent or transparent. Consistency can be visit or non visit. Emulsifiability can be easy, difficult, form homogeneous or granular suspensions. This is a picture showing various shapes, size, surface, color, opacity, elevation, and margins as discussed in the previous slide. Growth on agar slants includes the amount of growth that can be scanty, moderate or pendant. The form of growth can be filiform, spreading, rhizoid, beaded or branched. Growth on step culture where the amount of growth can be scanty, moderate and abundant. The form of growth can be filiform, beaded, papillate, absorbent or villous. The surface growth can be absent, present with or without coloration. Growth in liquid medium where the amount of growth can be scanty, moderate or abundant. The type of growth can be absent, present in the form of ring or pellicle. The deposits can be absent or present as powdery or granular. Turbidity can be absent or present and order can be absent or present as spirit or fruity. This picture is showing the growth in liquid media, step culture and agar slant as discussed in previous slide. Next characteristic is the pigment production. Few organisms like Pseudomonas and Staphylococci species produce pigments. Pseudomonas aeruginosa produce water soluble pigment which is bluish green in color and the whole medium becomes green. Staphylococcus aureus produce water insoluble pigment and they produce colonies which are golden yellow, lemon yellow or white in color. Only the colonies are pigmented and not the medium. Ceratia marcensis, they produce water insoluble pigments, produce brick red colored colonies and only the colonies are pigmented. Next characteristic is hemolysin production. Certain bacteria on blood agar medium cause lysis of RBCs. When there is hemolysis, a clear zone around the colony is observed. Examples of hemolysis producing organisms are Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus agalactiae, Corinibacterium pyogenes, and Clostridium felgii. There are three types of hemolysis produced by various bacteria. First is beta hemolysis, where there is complete and clear hemolysis, producing a white zone. The example of bacteria producing such hemolysis is Streptococcus pyogenes, Clostridium welchii, Streptococcus equi, and Corinobacterium pyogenes. Alpha hemolysis, where there is partial hemolysis, and narrow zone of with greenish border is observed. Organisms producing such 
hemolysis or streptococcus uberis and streptococcus tisaglexia. Gamma hemolysis, where there is no hemolysis and or non-hemolytic bacteria produces such type of gamma hemolysis. Next characteristic is a morphological and staining character. Bacteria can be in the form of bacillus, coccus or spirochetes. Bacilli are raw shaped cells. They can be usually stained by gram staining matter and can be observed under bright feed microscope. Cocci are spherical cells often occurring in chains or in grape like clusters. Spirochetes these are thin helical bacteria and dark field microscopy can be used to observe these bacteria under the microscope. Various morphological and staining characters include shape that can be spherical, cocobacillary, rods that, can, that is bacillary, filamentous, coma shaped, curved or spiral forms. Size that can be uh, cocci are measured in diameters and bacilli in length and breadth. Measurement is expressed in microns or micrometer. Sides that can be straight, concave, bulging, parallel, or irregular. Ends can be round, pointed, truncate, or concave. Axis can be straight or curved. Arrangements can be single, in pairs, in group of four or eight. In grape like punches, in long chains or in Chinese letter appearance. This picture is showing various arrangements of cocci and bacilli as well as other shapes of bacteria. Next is pleomorphism where the bacteria may differ from the typical shapes. Some of the older cultures may depart greatly from their typical forms and may show spindle, clubs, filaments, swollen and branching forms. Variations may be both in shape and size. Capsules may or may not be present and may require special staining for the demonstration. Flagella the bacteria may be atrichus, monotrichus, amphitrichus, lophotrichus, or peritrichus. Motility, it may be present or absent. This should be tested in young growth culture and it can be tested by hanging drop preparation, motility medium, or by staining the flagella. Spores, where some bacteria species are sporulated. Spores may be spherical or oval. The location of the spore may be central, subterminal, or terminal in the cell and may or may not pulse the size of the bacteria. Staining reactions like reaction to grams and zillness and stain should be mentioned. Accordingly, bacteria may be termed as gram positive or gram negative and acid fast or non acid fast. The staining may be uniform, unipolar, bipolar, pitic or there may be presence or absence of metachromatic granules. This is the picture showing capsules, spores and flagella and their classification based on the position, forms and numbers. Staining methods include simple staining, differential staining and special staining. Differential staining includes gram staining and acid fast staining, and special staining include endospore staining, flagella staining, capsule staining, and metachromatic staining. Details about various staining methods, their procedure, their principle, their use, etc., are discussed in detail in my earlier presentation. Do refer it for staining methods of bacteria for other identification. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to remain updated with the next presentation.